Oman Chill is participating in Oman Sustainability Week as a strategic partner to highlight Oman's commitment to sustainability for future energy. For more details, keep watching. Waleed Hadi, Senior Vice President and Country Chairman in Oman Chill is here with us today. Thank you for being here with us today. Um, first of all, uh, participating as a strategic partner in Oman Sustainability Week. How is Oman Chill playing an active role in the country's um, energy transition? I think uh, the, 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 uh, the, the great thing we find in Oman is there's a very large overlap between the energy transition pathways and ambitions that we have as a company globally. Uh, and the energy transition pathway that was set for the country uh, under the uh, guidance of his, uh, of his Majesty uh, uh, in the middle of last year. Um, uh, we have uh, now determined our energy transition pathways for each part of our energy vectors. Uh, in oil, we are working very closely with the Ministry and, uh, and the partners uh, in uh, Petroleum Development Oman to achieve net zero by 2050 and uh, an ambition of a 50% reduction in uh, carbon emissions by 2030, so an intermediate step towards 2050. Uh, in Oman LNG, we have agreed uh, the investment framework that will reduce the uh, carbon emissions and the carbon intensity of that LNG value chain and hopefully place Oman LNG to be one of the uh, top quartile companies in uh, carbon intensity and, uh, and carbon management uh, among its peers. Uh, and obviously there's a lot of exciting work happening in investing in new low carbon value chains such as blue hydrogen, green hydrogen and renewable energy, uh, both for industrial supply, for export, but also for the mobility uh, sector in Oman. Uh, so if you look at across all of these vectors, all of them are on clear trajectories to increase the energy output and reduce the uh, carbon intensity at the same time, either by decarbonizing hydrocarbon chains or by investing in low or zero carbon uh, energy vectors. Amazing, amazing. So um, what are the significant investments uh, Oman Shell have made that are in line with Oman Vision 2040? All of our investments are in line with, uh, with Vision 2040. This is the strategic uh, uh, imperative for the country so anything that we do needs to be in service of Vision 2040 otherwise uh, we don't do it. Um, more, more specifically we have over the last three years invested significantly in increasing the gas production in the country through Block 10. Uh, it's been uh, producing uh, ahead of schedule on budget since uh, January 2023. We're super excited about it. We're looking for ways to grow, uh, to grow the, uh, the gas production. Uh, we're also pursuing investments in blue hydrogen, which takes the gas value chain into exciting new horizons, uh, low carbon uh, hydrogen and ammonia products, which we believe will contribute significantly to the decarbonization of industry in Oman, but also open up new markets for the country in the same way that LNG did 20 years ago. Uh, and obviously with green hydrogen, which we believe is complementary to blue and uh, is the ultimate uh, end game, if you want, in, uh, in low carbon uh, energy products. Uh, and hopefully we're expecting uh, to be uh, successful uh, as part of the uh, license round that's happening uh, at the moment with Hydrum and the Ministry of Energy. Um, so, uh, projects like uh, green hydrogen for mobility and solar into schools have been exemplary examples uh, of sustainable development. Could you tell us more about Oman Shell's drive to promote sustainable new energies in Oman? So, I, I think the idea behind these projects is if we give something to society, uh, we want it to last for as long as possible and to impact as many aspects of the Omani society as possible. So the solar into school was a good opportunity because it meant we could invest in schools in all of the governorates of, uh, of the uh, Sultanate. So we would uh, impact as, as, as wide as we can the, uh, the societal components of this country. By uh, producing clean energy, we benefit the Ministry of Education and the schools, but obviously we attract younger generations into the area of sustainable development and renewable energy. Uh, we're doing the same in solar and water, uh, and the same with green hydrogen to mobility. We do believe that hydrogen has to play a key role in decarbonizing the energy uh, system of this country. It has to play a key role in decarbonizing mobility and by creating that initial investment, if you want, that uh, pilot investment in, uh, in green hydrogen to mobility, 
we believe that we would be laying the foundation for us and for others to follow suit and hopefully uh, grow the hydrogen economy through practical implementation and not just through uh, you know, uh, ideation and, uh, and investment thesis. This is pots and pans and concrete and steel on the ground, which is, uh, which is what we like. That's wonderful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you so much and good luck. Thank you.